we're ready to get started. Uh, this process has been a long, long process. Uh, for those of you from Park Ridge, I remember this court. It was a dilapidated embarrassment. Um, and uh, over eight years ago, a young boy came over and uh, said to the uh, council, is there something we could do to fix up that court? That was eight years ago. He was about this big. And uh, just to demonstrate how long it took, I want to bring him up here now. Wyatt, come on up. <laughs> when we started this process, he was this tall. And this is what he's like now. So uh, I'm going to make sure that Wyatt gets uh, among the first baskets shot today. Because uh, um, he, he was the one that pushed for it. So uh, it was a great idea. You know, we're an athletic community. Uh, but there was a lot of obstacles uh, we had to uh, overcome. We had to get grant money. Um, of course, the county has more money than the, than the, uh, the town. Um, fortunately, the uh, county's Open Space Trust Fund was willing to give us a, uh, a grant if we had our own open trade, uh, open uh, uh, space uh, fund, which we didn't at the time. So we had to put it up for referendum. So years passed by and uh, it brings us here. So uh, we have our own uh, fund. Um, I want people to understand that these are the type of things that we get out of that fund and hopefully we can keep it for a long time. So uh, my good friend Tom Sullivan from the Freeholders Board um, is here to present the check and uh, say a few words. So welcome Tom, please. You pay for half of this. Thank you, and, and like a good politician, you gotta talk before I present the check, right? So, you guys are supposed to laugh at me. I'm right from Montville, you can laugh, I'm not an outsider. So, uh, Keith brought up a good point about the Open Space Trust Fund. Um, it's a great thing to have, as you, as you all know, and you have it here in your, in your town, and we require people to have one, because if we're gonna have skin in the game, you need to have skin in the game. And a few years back, I guess it was 2010, in a political move, um, it was the open space, open space trust fund was reduced to a quarter of one cent instead of one full cent per hundred dollars assessed value in the county. So when I came on the board in 2015, I said it's time to stop playing politics. Bergen County needs as much open space as we can get. We know we're very condensed, and this isn't about a Democrat or Republican. It's about getting things done for the people of the community. So we reinstated the full amount to one cent per hundred dollars, and that's why we're able to have this money. And this is why we're here today. So it has been, it has been my, uh, my mission that it, we will not play with this anymore and because of beautiful things like this. So I have the pleasure of... Uh, well, let's bring the council up, everybody. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I have the pleasure of presenting a check to the mayor and council for over $82,000. And just remember that this is all your money. This is all the money that every single taxpayer in the county puts into the fund, and we get to share this money. And look what we have here. It's so important. We have the Fairleigh Dickinson staff here. We have the mascot. There you go. I don't know his name. So I'd like to present this check to the Mayor and Council on behalf of Bergen County in a partnership with the entire county. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom, and we'll happily accept that. We appreciate all your support. Um, we have some people here that we uh, hopefully can say a few words. We got our uh, our celebrity, uh, uh, Coach Aretha, um, who is uh, anybody that follows local basketball. We had a phenomenal season this year. We went to the dance. Um, and even in loss, you showed uh, tremendous class and you brought a, a, a positive message to everybody. When that uh, one player went out and had that, that sank that basket, uh, I think everybody in the country uh, got choked up. It was such a great moment. So if you have a, if you would come up and say a few words. Um. <clears throat> I'm just very honored to be here. It brings me back to my youth. I grew up in Hudson County. Uh, I knew I wasn't gonna get an applause for that. <laughs> but when I, when I grew up, I never thought I was worthy to go into Fairview in Bergen County. It was the rich people and I wasn't, 
ever going to be there, let alone live. And now I'm the Division One basketball coach in Bergen County. Uh, and this is the start of my career was on a basketball court that was funded by the North Bergen Department of uh, Recreation. And this is the beginning. So the gentleman that wanted the court got it. But for these young guys, and we'll do a few drills later to find out, maybe they might be future Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. Uh, this is opportunity. And opportunity comes with people that care and people that give. And the mayor and, um, and Tom, and, and we have a giver here. The reason Park Ridge is so important to me is we have an alum and his wife, Don Schwam and Joanne Schwam. Um, that have just given so much to everybody. Um, at Fairleigh Dickinson, this is my sixth, end of my sixth year. Uh, we went to the NCAA tournament twice, and uh, as the mayor said, we had a player from Maywood that uh, didn't play and was hurt and scored two points and then stole the nation's heart for a second and realized that Bergen County and Park Ridge and Maywood and Hackensack and Teaneck is a big part of NCAA collegiate athletics in the world. And I'd love to see more. I see fans that come to our games. We need more people from Park Ridge to come to FDU. And I would love to ha be here more and do clinics and speak. And I'm, uh, I'm here for you guys in Park Ridge. Uh, my athletic director who just came on, uh, Brad Herbert, um, has done an incredible job. I'd just like to recognize Brad. Brad worked at Georgetown, uh, Northwestern, and Sacred Heart. And uh, Fairleigh Dickinson, we want to be a big part. I've got to introduce Nit it's Nitro. Nitro, let's go, boy. Um, so we want to be a part of the community. Last year, you know, we won the first ever NCAA game, and I think the world knows us, but I think I want to do a better job of the people locally knowing us. So our practices are open. We have a great women's program, baseball program. We have, yes, yeah, so we want people to come to Fairleigh Dickinson University. Um, I'd get in trouble if I didn't introduce uh, my assistant coach who does everything for me. Um, well, you better do everything for me. This coach, uh, Pete Lapis. Lapis. And my lovely bride, it's not my daughter, my wife, Jill. And my son, uh, Trey Horenda, as well, is here today. So I just want to congratulate everybody that's here. This is a celebration. One, once we're done talking, if the, if the boys and girls would want to come and have a chance to take some shots and win some FDU t-shirts, we'll be here. Would you guys like to do that? Do some drills and kind of hang out um, after the ceremonies. That way we can let the adults do what they got to do. But hey, it's uh, Mikasa Sukasa. Please come to Fairleigh Dickinson to our games. I drive to go to Louis, the ice joint. What's the name of the ice joint, Chef? Louis G's. Louis G's. Now I'm gonna stop and come and you know, take a few shots, man. This is hoop, it's the summer. Uh, hopefully in the fall you guys come to Fairleigh Dickinson and uh, I can't thank you enough to, to, for us being here today and being a part of uh, a tremendous celebration. Go Park Ridge. See how much better of a public speaker the coach is than I am? He, he did everything right. He thanked everybody. He thanked his wife. I did. I, and there's so many people that I should have thanked. You know, Don, uh, Ralph, part of our open space committee. Um, and uh, uh, Julie Falkenstern, our, our borough administrator who's been down here. I, I posted on social media, which I'm not very good at, that I felt like I was in one of those reality shows where we were trying to get this done for today and yesterday this paint was wet, so I was stressed out. But uh, we all came together. The rec committee, who I always forget to, to thank when I'm from here, Ms. Vulcan, Star and Jean, and the whole team. Uh, thank you for being here. I would like to do two things. We're going to cut the ribbon and we're going to play some ball and uh, Nitro can uh, show us how to shoot a basket because I can't. Uh, but I, I would like to have our, our two uh, Park Ridge varsity coaches. Um, it's Ryan and Dennis, I believe, right? Our, our uh, boys. Uh,
Carlos, um, Adam Kaplan, the boys coach here. Um, so again, thank you to the mayor and the council. I, mean, I remember being on a phone call about two, two and a half years ago, and this was just an idea kind of floating around. It was excitement then, and to see it all come together, just, you know, a couple of years later is just really, really great. And to have a nice crowd just for something positive. And I grew up in Rivervale, and basketball is a big part of my life. It's still a big part of my life. To have a court here where our kids could you know, just walk here anytime they want and play and just be doing something positive. I live in Park Ridge. I have a 10 year old son who loves to play and having another opportunity where there's, there's space for them, right? Coach is saying the outdoor space that we have here to have more opportunities for kids to be doing that, getting better, playing hard, having fun. It's just really exciting. We're going to take full advantage of this. I like that we're just being taped because I heard Coach offer to come down here and do clinics and stuff, so we have that on tape now. <laughs> take you up on that. Um, but just to, to generate as much excitement as we can for this game that's just such a fun and beautiful game, um, we're thrilled to be part of it. So thank you everybody for coming out. Thanks for letting us uh, My name is Ryan Dennis. I'm the girls' varsity head coach. and. Um, I'm just so thankful for everyone that, that got on board with this, this project. Um, not only is the open space uh, so important, but uh, giving back to your community is, is essential for the growth of a, of a town. Um, like Coach said, uh, this court will be utilized a ton by the kids in this community. And Coach and I both are on the same page about growing basketball here in Park Ridge. And this court will certainly do that. Uh, this allows our young people in our community to be able to come here, play during the day, and so uh, hot summer days, get off their couch and get away from video games for a little while, and come and work on their game whenever they want. Um, so it's an amazing court, and it looks beautiful, and, and I hope that everyone enjoys it and takes advantage of it, and I know this is going to help grow and continue to grow our programs uh, and make us continually successful. Uh, so again, it's a beautiful day, and I'm, I'm so happy for this community. And um, let's go make some buckets, right, Coach? Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. Is Don Schwalm here? Don? Yeah. There he is. Oh, you want to say anything? Okay. Come on, Don. Then, without any further ado, let's uh, have the uh, ceremonial cutting of the ribbon. If everybody could just, uh, we'll open a little space here and. Coach Aranda will come in and help us out. I've been pushing for this for so long, Dom. You better come over here and help with the... Okay, if you stick around, the coach is going to do a little clinic. Here we go. All right, I need all the participants that all the boys and girls have to sit on the white three-point line right now. We're going to shoot for the stars. Park Ridge boys and girls, just sit right down. Boys and girls, men, if you want to show your skills, I need Trey, Arenda, and Coach Lapis. Boys, let's go. Oh, come on. Yeah, why not? Everybody say hey to Nitro. I'm going to teach you before you, now that you're sitting down, I'm going to have everybody just stand up. Okay, stand up now. Good. Put the balls down, and I'm going to teach you how to get in a defensive stance. And you big boys show the little guys, but when I blow the whistle, you get in your defensive stance, okay? Ready? Thank God we built this court. <laughs> I need your feet shoulder width apart. So if you take your shoulders and you drop a string, that's where your feet should be, maybe a little outside. And now you take your bottom and just drop it, drop it. <sighs> And take your hands, we call it high hands. So if you can take your hands and put them, for the little guys, you do this. You go to Disney World, raise your hand if you went to Disney World ever. Okay? Here's Mickey, here's Mickey, right? And your hands are high. My knees are bent, my butt's down, and my hands are high, and my back is straight. Okay, has everybody got that? 
So everybody relax. When I blow the whistle, you're gonna get in that stance. And everybody says defense. You ready? On the whistle. Good. Yeah. Next whistle. Next whistle, you're gonna just take your feet, you gotta move your feet on defense, and we're gonna foot fire as hard as we can. Ready? Foot fire. Now, and we'll get to the fun stuff after you have to play defense before you can get on this court at Park Ridge. When I point in that direction to the woods, you're going to turn and return as quick as you possibly can. So first whistle, stance. Second whistle, fire. Third whistle, turn and return. Can you do that? Here we go. Not bad. Parents, give these guys a hand. Give them a hand. Okay, fourth whistle, we're gonna turn to the tennis courts. Okay, first whistle, ready? In order to play basketball, you've got to play defense. Last thing I'm gonna do when we do it at the Boys and Girls Club, there's a little chance, and when I come down here, and you're gonna see me, trust me, when you see me, I'm gonna say FD who, and you're gonna point at me and say FD you. You got that? FD who? FD you. Come on, man. <laughs> FD who? FD you. How about the parents too? FD who? FD you. Don, doesn't that sound good, Don? <laughs> Let's give Mr. Schwamm and Joanne Schwamm another big hand. Yeah. All right, last time, we're gonna go four whistles and then we're gonna shoot for the stars. And I'm gonna find out whoever does the best job on defense is gonna make the first yeah. official basket on the Park Ridge courts, which is history. So it has nothing to do with how old you are. Pete, Coach Lapis, I want you to evaluate. We're going to Philadelphia right after this to go recruit it, right, Pete? Yes, sir. What time is the game we're going to, Pete? Three o'clock. Okay, so at three o'clock, we're gonna be in Philadelphia trying to find, I want to come to Park Ridge and find a scholarship player. Yeah. yeah. And we have, Nadi Basiri was from Maywood, Mark Datica was from St. Mary's in Rutherford, i um, trying to think, we have another Mark Schroback. Mike Schroback was from Hasbrook Heights. So I, I'm an equal opportunity guy, man. If, I, I love local people. First whistle, whoever does the best is gonna get the first chance to make the first basket on these historic hoops. Here we go. Get a scholarship? Oh, slow down. Slow down over there. <laughs> you never know. Hold on one second. Okay, we need one more true crack at this. I just need a little bit more, like, watch me do it. Pete. Like, oh, look at that. Ready, go. <laughs> Hit it. So I need a little more intensity, my man. Let's go. Ready position. What's your name, son? Joey. Joey what? Maury. Joey, Maury, how old? 
Ten, what grade? Fourth, going into fifth. You got promoted? You sure? Okay, you're going into the fifth grade. Let's hear it for Joey. Joey, you're going to have three shots at it, so don't put, there's no pressure on you. If you don't make three, we're going to go to the next guy. But I got total confidence in you, Joey. Let's hear it for Joey. When you're ready, three, two, one. That's okay. That's a, everyone gets a warm up. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, Joey, come on, boy. Okay, Joey, before before the next one, I, I, I should have done the, the, the shooting clinic. Everybody do this. Take your elbow. Put it on your right thigh, Mayor. I'm gonna teach you how to shoot too. No, that's football, man. Stand up straight. So, just take your right hand and put it on your right thigh if you're a righty, and then everyone do it. It's easy, and you can teach your kids this, and then you just bring it up. And that's the shooting spot. So when you see your kids shooting, just put it on your thigh, bring it up. And then when you bring it up, your elbow is straight and you have a pretty good chance of making it. If the kid's elbow was, Joey, I did the same thing. Your elbow is a little bit out, you're gonna miss it on the right side. Step in here, Joey. Three, two, one, Joey. Yeah. Let's hear it for Joey. Joey. Okay, everybody sit down, we're gonna play a game and then I'm gonna let you go. Here's the deal. Come on, Pete, Trey, gear, gear. Joey wants his ball back, get the gear out, Pete, let's go. It's 30 seconds, it's called shoot for the stars. If you get called out, let's go, hustle, throw it down, let's go. If you shoot and make the shot behind the shirt, you get the shirt. Everybody got that? and you get as many shirts as you, you, you can win. If you win two shirts, you gotta give that other shirt to somebody else, okay? You gotta give, you know, about giving. Okay, so it's a 30 second deal. And right now, we're gonna just pick people when you come out. Usually we have music, so when we come back, coaches and do the clinic, there's music that goes on, so it's a little bit more hype, but it's, we'll figure, we'll figure it out, okay? Young man, you're up first. You want to go? Get up! Let's go, boys. <laughs> Trey, Trey, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, you, you're gonna rebound for him. Pete, you got 30 seconds, and then once it goes in, you get that shirt. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go! Come out, guys! Come out! Come on, boy! Okay, stay with it, stay with it, get, on, get over there, get over there, get over there. Bend your knees, throw it up there as hard as you can. Oh my God. Stay with it. <laughs> yep. Trey, coach him. Come on, boy. Come on. Yeah! No, 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 keep going. You got more shirts, more shirts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, buzzer. Let's give my man, what's your name, son? Let's give Luke a big hand. So, do you like the game so far? Cool game, Joey? You make the shot, you get the shirt. And I think we have to go because, I think we have to go with the younger guys, okay? Is that all right with you guys? All right, who else wants to go? Anybody? Come on, let's go, baby. Oh, you got your own ball? That's illegal. It's illegal. No, no, it's okay. Well, let you use your... What's your name, son? Ryan. Ryan what? Ryan. Oh, excuse me. Ryan. <laughs> what's your last name? Nelson Falco. Wow. Is Ryan's parents here? Very impressed. Very... Yeah, he's going to be a successful young man. Let's hear for Ryan. Let's hear... You got 30 seconds, Ryan. Three, two, one, go! All right, baby, he's right there.
Yeah. Martha. Oh, nice. Mark, good. Pick that up. Keep shooting. Get behind his shirt. Come on, boy. Handle it. Handle it, Ryan. Come on. Bend your knees. Oh, my God. We don't have that many shirts, do we, Brad? Ten seconds. Don't Ten go seconds. in. No. I root against the kids. Eight. Oh, no. Seven. Ah! Five. Come on, Ryan. Put it in again. Four. Nice shot. Three. Two. Two. One. You got two. Who are you going to give the other one to? Your mother or your friend? Oh. Oh, wow. Give him a hand for being a giver. He didn't look like he wanted again, but... All right. Do we have a young lady that would like to participate? <laughs> Do we? Come on. You sure? Maybe later when the, when the camera's not on, we might bring you out. Girl power. <laughs> Big boy. Let's go. Will Purdue. Big country. Let's hear her for... Gavin. All these kids look alike. Is that your brother? Oh, this friend. Parkridge, they multiply. All right, here we go. Here we go. He needs a ball, Trey. We got 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. God, we got no shirts left. Okay, he's got one. Look at this guy. Nice touch. Shoot a little bit higher. The higher you shoot it, the better. There you go. Okay. 20? Ten seconds. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left? Yeah. Killing me. This guy's a killing me. Uh oh. Five, four, yep. three, oh. two, one. Uh. That's my best buzzing noise. Get him the t-shirt straight. He get, he get two? He made two. Congratulations, young man. Anybody else? Young lady? Please? We just got to make sure we're very uh, politically correct here. Title line compliant. What are you asking? How about another young boy? Okay, let's go, dude. You got the look. What's your name? Jason. You don't look like these guys, Jason. Where are you from? Some other town? No. You sure? Is your mom and dad here? Where are? Oh, this is now it's rigged. Okay. He's a po politico. All right, listen, we got. One in the middle here. You got? Do you understand the drill, Jason? Give me, give me the ball for a second. You ready? I'm gonna do the other drill with you. You ready? On the whistle. That's a good drill. I used to do that drill at home, and I would stay in my defensive stance for as long as the songs. And I listen, you guys remember? They don't remember. Anybody remember Parliament? Parliament. And I would stay in, the, in my cellar for the entire time in that stance. It was like three or four minutes. And if you do it for more than a minute, you know what happens? You guys obviously haven't done it. What happens? Legs start shivering. But then when you go to the court, courts and you go out and you play defense, you're a better defender. So this is a, that's a good drill to do. It's Matt, right? You ready, kid? What's your first name? Jason. I'm not great with, I get him after second, two, Jason, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, this looks too easy. Well, he always thought that he made it. Uh oh. Hustle. I like the hustler. Guys, let's give him a hand, guys. Let's give him a hand. Come on, Jason. Your father? Okay, now your father. Now, what do you want for your father? Let's go. He needs a t-shirt. Help him out, Trey. Come on, kid. Oh, back to home! Yeah. I'm going to give it to his dad. Give me that, Trey. Block it, Pete! Let's hear it for Jason. Good job, boy. I think we only have one t-shirt left. My mother, my mother was a great free throw shooter. She used to win all the Garden State Olympics as a senior. Free throws, hot shot, horseshoes. Anybody participate in the Garden State Games ever back in the day? Well, she was huge. So we're gonna do one free throw. It's a lost art. The guy that makes the free throw gets it, and that will conclude our program. Is that okay, Mr. Mayor? We good? Yes. 
Um, uh oh, you must be the sh you like Larry Bird. Which one? I'm gonna give each guy a chance. Who wants to go first? Come on, boy. Let's give him a hand. Brandon. Brandon, how old are you, Brandon? Twelve. Twelve. Are you gonna go into the eighth grade or seventh grade? Nice. You from Park Ridge? Yeah. You got ID on you? <laughs> right, I trust you. Let's go. We're gonna give you. We might give you. Let's give him a warm up. If, it go, if the warm up goes in, you get it. If it doesn't go in, you get another shot. I'm a nice guy. Okay. That's okay. The only thing. The only thing I would tell you. One more for Brendan. Get in. Yeah. My boy. Pick that up. Man. I want everybody to get up and get around me. I want to get a photo up of being with you guys on the first day. I love play. I like parents. I love players way more. Everybody get up here. Let's go. Get around. Get that trophy, Pete. Guys, the uh, smaller group is in front. Trey, uh, uh, Trey, help him with the, the picture's going to be for Leo. Put the, put the camera here, Pete. you got to take control, Pete. You're the adult. Okay, good. All right, now we just stand up. And you guys, yeah, put on your FDU. If you have an FDU shirt, put it on. Okay, good. Uh, nitro. Okay, good. Even if you're big. I'll get you, I'm going to get you a t-shirt too. I'm going to get you a dress, Joey. This group doesn't have one. Do we have an extra t-shirt, Pete, or is that it? Joey, I'm, you made the first swoop, so you got that. But I'm going to send you another t-shirt, okay? Everybody get in tight. Again, on behalf of Fairleigh Dickinson University, Don Schwamm, Joanne Schwamm, Barry Lowe, Marty Munch, Leo, the Lion, everybody, thank you so much. Peace. And the mayor. Well, I, I just told the youngsters um, from Park Ridge that this is an opportunity for someone to come, work on their skills, work on their game, make friends. Uh, everything happens on a basketball court in the summer. You know, academics are most important in school, but uh, this court just gives people a chance to, to connect and to, to become maybe a, a college basketball player, but if not, uh, someone that uh, can enjoy the game and enjoy a uh, wonderful uh, place in Park Ridge. Agreed, agreed. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Very, Thank you so well. much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Deanna Marlowe, and I'm here with Mayor Keith Mishagna for Park Ridge. So tell us about the funding that happens in the basketball here today. Well, it's a great question because uh, we recently put in an open space uh, tax. Um, and, uh, these are the kind of projects that come out of it. The, the county has an open uh, space trust fund, and you apply for uh, grants through the county, but if you don't have a local open space uh, tax, uh, you cannot apply for them. So we put one in place about two years ago, and these are the fruits of our labor. These are the things that we'll be able to do. We're, we're doing this project now, this beautiful court which replaced the dilapidated court that was here. We're going to be working on uh, replacing the, uh, the football field and uh, a couple other projects, our community center and so on. But that, that's, these are the kind of things that the Open Space Trust Fund helps us with. Right. We appreciate that. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.